Hello, Lolos. Welcome, 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 welcome. <laughs> Have a seat. Let's talk. <laughs> Have a seat. Let's talk. Okay. So I said I would come on eventually with um, Zuri, which is my tint by Bonnie Brown. And I would show her in my arms. This is this little one. Um, so she did. She's a little peanut. Um, she's a little bit floppy, not extremely floppy. I could make her like a lot more floppy if I probably like loosen her up a little bit. But I think I like her just fine the way she is. I just like to feel the weight of the head. But, um, so I have a lot of stuff, um, going on and, um, I have made several videos, but deleted them all because I don't know, seemed like I just went off in so many different directions and it just, it just, I just didn't want to, you know, some of the, some of the things I didn't want to really get into as much. Um, so I'm here <laughs> and I forgot what I was going to tell you guys today. One, one thing I, I want to, um, to say to you guys is that, um, for those that may not follow me on my other social media accounts, like, um, Instagram and Facebook, um, may not know that I sold, uh, Nevada, which is, uh, my... Jalen by Georgia Piggott, um, painted by Angela Plicka. Um, I sold her the other day. Um, she actually went, the sculptor is actually buying her. Um, and she had reached out to me, of course, when I first got her and said, you know, she had missed out on her and that if I ever wanted to let her go to let her know because she really wanted her in her collection. Um, she seemed to collect, um, um, quite a bit of her prototypes and um, so I did I posted it first and then I reached out I always feel awkward reaching out to people when I put it all up for sale just FYI because it's like I feel like a lot of people say that and they don't always really mean it or you know then they or they feel you know feel a lot of pressure when someone do come to them and say hey, I have this all, and then, like, say they've moved on from the idea of buying it or whatever the case may be. So I feel a little awkward. So I went ahead and, and messaged her, and um, the rest of that is our business. I want to also insert here that when I do business transactions with my buyers, customers, dollies, whatever you want to call this the situation, it's a business transaction. Um it's never personal when I'm when money is involved for me and I feel like once I've already entered into a transaction with someone the information about that doll and that transaction is no longer public knowledge um, how much we the doll was sold for um, anything I don't have to share any more information about the doll because it's not sold um, I do understand that I had her for short, such a short time and for those that do not follow me um, closely on my social medias may not be aware that I will sell a baby in records time. Sometimes, sometimes I'll hold them for a year or two years and I sell them. A lot of my babies do get sold eventually, unfortunately. Um, I'm a collector that like new things. I am very particular about, you know, things that I, you know, babies that I collect, um, the energy that circles around them, et cetera, et cetera. I am a, a very unique individual as we all are, whether we want to admit it or not, but I think I'm a little weird. <laughs> I say that because I feel like I don't fit anywhere. I don't fit in any box. I feel like I don't belong. You know, it's like I'm that person. One of these kids do not belong here. 
that would be me. Anyway, um, it's not such a great place to be either all the time. But anyway, so um, I, I do want to, to say this and, and I want this. I, I want to I want to say that for those that if you go back to my videos and you see for a while I've I've bought quite a bit of babies over the last few months or so um, kind of close together um, and they were pretty expensive babies um, whether it be kids or not I don't think people understand like. You know, just even buying a blank silicone kit these days can cost you $3,000 just for the kit alone. So it, the money adds up. Um, wherein I don't sacrifice my bills and, you know, other things and obligations that I have to um, partake in this hobby <laughs> addiction. <laughs> I do some time over extend myself or spend more than I want to spend and then it takes away from you know other future projects that I may have in mind sometime so basically um I won't say that I think that I I just I love Angela um, Plucker's work and um I love I love the way she puts the babies together. I love the way they that she does the hair and everything and um I just I I adore her painting. I love the way she textures. I love her work. So um sometime like this particular baby I was so busy. That was the skin tone that I really was chasing after from um Angela Plicka. And um so I was really excited and um, I wasn't sure if I would like the sculpt wholeheartedly. To be honest, if I be honest, I wasn't sure on the sculpt. But when I got the baby, I I did like the sculpt. I do like the sculpt. Um, I will paint that sculpt. Um, so I, I did and I found myself saying, you know, if I stop letting everybody dictate to me what I should be painting, I should not be painting, what I should be collecting, what I should not be collecting. And and not that I, I do give people that much authority, but despite what we think, we are influenced by our surroundings. So anyway, um, I've always liked the Jalen sculpt. I wanted it in silicone, actually. Um, but I said, you know, okay. Vinyl is fine. So I, so basically I've been letting go of a lot of babies that I painted myself and I decided that out of the newer babies that I've recently got, um, which is Joey and um, this little peanut here, Zuri and, uh, and Cheyenne and um, who else is new? I don't know, that that came from other people. Um, I decided, and Jersey is fairly new, but not new, new. Um, definitely Cheyenne, Cheyenne was going, so she got sold. And then um, I definitely wasn't letting go of Joey. <laughs> and um, so and I, so I decided, you know, I'm going to let Nevada go. Um, I hope. In the future that I catch another Plucka baby down the road. Not anytime soon. Um, I really, to be honest, was like setting myself up for to catch a Laura. <laughs> but um, I painted my Laura and I love her. Um, but you know, you know how that goes. We, we fall in love and then we fall out of love. And... Uh, and then, and then they go away. Um, so, yeah. So, um, I've really, 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 really uh, have fallen in love with uh, 
with Valera Baby's work. Um, and you know, like I said, there, I am an emotional collector. And I think a lot of us collect for many different reasons. And some of us collect with our hearts, like all in, like a passion. Um, and so something about her work draws me in. Um, I don't know, that, know her personally or anything like that, but she seems to give good energy and I'm all about energy. I know this is weird um, for some of you guys, but um, I just I just like her work. It's a clean transaction. Usually, there's not no personal ties or anything like that, and it just feels good to just buy, have a you know share some pleasantries, and be done with the transaction. And um, I have my baby, and I love it. She, you know, she she comments on my post sometimes. She likes my post sometimes. You know, it's nice. It's casual. It's business. It's um. I don't know what she thinks of me as a person. She maybe she probably don't even think of me as a person. Only thing I care about is the art that she creates. And as long as she's not giving off no demonic vibes or anything like that, I I I have a lot of respect for her as an artist. Um, I noticed that sometimes in comments, people will like try to correct me or put me in my place so to speak, if I say anything, this is my platform. This is my platform. And when I talk to my audience, a lot of my audience have been following me for a long time. They understand me beyond my words sometimes. I, I almost can't stand y'all sometimes because I'll get messages that are like, eh, <laughs> say what you want, blah, 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 you know, or whatever. Um, but you know, it's, it's fun and, and, you know, it's entertaining or whatever, but I, it does kind of like pluck my nerve a little bit when someone try to correct me. Um, sometime I say things and I'm just speaking from an honest place. I'm not trying to, um, be harsh or critique anybody or anything like that. I, like I said, I'm an emotional person. Um, so when I say that an artist's work is not like perfect, I say that because it's not. No one's work is perfect. I have seen some very seamless, almost flawless babies, but then there may be something that could be off and it might not be the technique itself it could be very much of maybe the coloring is a little off to my taste or maybe um the maybe the they colored outside the line for god's sake i don't know um it but when i say that like these artists work is not perfect it's not in a bad way because we are not perfect. If I look at my skin and my hands and my arms and my, you know, just me as a person, there's variations in our skin color. Um, there's unevenness um, a lot. There's different shadings and um, blotches to different areas of our skin and stuff. There's so, so many unique things about, you know, us as individuals that make us imperfectly perfect if that makes sense so I don't mean to say oh this artist's work is not perfect like I'm not saying it in that way I'm saying it's perfect for me but it's not perfect I don't know but anyway um I kind of went off a little bit where I was, I guess I, I forgot what I was, really came on to talk to you guys about. But yeah, I so I, I wanted you guys to see this little peanut and um, 
we're very excited because we're we're going to receive her other outfits that were left out of her box opening um, within the next day or two. And so we're very excited about that. I don't know what they are, um, but she said they were specific for her. So we're 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 patiently waiting um, because I I don't like her in a lot of clothes because I want to look at her. But I do like when she puts on little things, and I think that's the the, the beauty of the um, the little babies. I'm going to break my videos up a little bit into topics and segments. Try to, anyway. But um, I guess my confession for today is that sometimes I overspend and I let go of babies because I don't like to see my account, my bank account looking lower than I want it to be or I am preparing for something at this point it's not I'm preparing for anything really um the lore that I thought I might go after I don't know that I will um I was kind of hoping the artist would have done an AA but she did Caucasian and I do love the Caucasian but because there's such a large amount of Caucasian um, lures out here. I don't know that I want one in my collection, to be honest. Um, it is like a flood of them. Like, I am like confused on whose baby is who at this point. They're, at this point, they're all starting to look alike. Um, so, but I love the sculpt. So I definitely still want the sculpt in my collection, but it's, it's a bit overwhelming. Um, so I, I, so now I just sit back and I, I put my money to uh, to wait for something else, um, if something else. Um, because I, I don't know, I don't know. Right now, I think um, I need to be careful of the decisions that I make because of where I'm at um, emotionally with everything that's going on around me in my personal life I am just a little a little off kinker if, if that makes sense um I'm a little off definitely a little off um but let me get to the next video and I'll see you guys there if you guys want to follow me there then I will see you guys there if not I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you enjoyed the video um just me rambling later